Hi there, my name is Chaitan and in this video I'll be showing you how to get iframes working in your Joomla content because what happens is when you insert the iframe code in your Joomla editor the code just trips away the code is just ripped away you know so if I am to put an iframe here and I toggle editor you'll see the code goes away because Joomla by default does not allow it so there are a few ways there are a few workarounds behind this so if I put it here and not toggle editor and still save it you'll see the code disappears we don't have any map whatsoever you know I can type anything else so that works this should be above the map so this should be above the map and then I co add my code here and then here and still nothing so the code just goes away so there were a few ways uh, behind this first of all you can turn off the editor and based on what settings you have in your global configuration for whitelisting you'll be able to get it uh, done that way so let's try doing it that way so we're going to go to system and global configuration and then we are going to select the editor to none and again it all depends on what text filters you have. We'll see if it doesn't work and then adjust the text filters. Okay, we'll go ahead and insert the iframe. Save it. And there you go, it works. And then I can go back and you'll see the map appears below here. So we have the map. This is perfect. But what if you need the editor? Like you really need the editor and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to do it that way where you want to have to turn off the editor every time you want to insert something. So what you can do is turn back the editor and then go back to plugin manager. So in this case, we are using tiny MCE editor. So we'll edit the settings just for this. Based on what editor you're using, you may have different settings there. So I go to editor tiny MCE, and in here, I select set three, set zero, because that's what is available on the back end to super users. You can obviously change this if you like, but you know this is how it works by default. So when I do that, I can scroll down a little and you'll see in prohibited elements, we have the script element. So we can remove this and the iframe element actually. We can remove this and then it'll start, uh, stop stripping it away. So this is the second way on how we can actually get it. So I'll copy the code again. And okay, sure. Yeah, I don't think it's a location, but whatever. Uh, and then go ahead and save it once. And you'll see the map is there. It doesn't go away anymore. So I can insert it again and it stays. It doesn't go away. I can save it. And then I can refresh the page. The map is there. Okay. That's way number two. Way number three is we can actually. So right now the editor tiny MCE is handling. The, the content validation or element validation itself. We can turn it off and give, give the controls back to the Joomla text filter. So we can say this, use Joomla text filter and you'll see these options go away. So I say on and save it. And now the controls are back to Joomla, you know, whatever text filters we have in the global configuration. You know, this is helpful if you want to, you know, manage it in one place which a lot of people would. So now these uh, filters would apply. And as you can see, so super users, there is no filtering, which means uh, it will just do whatever we put in. It is supposed to work like that. So if I am to save this again, and me being a super user on this site, it should not strip away this HTML. There you go. So I'm gonna insert it again, save it. And again, this is just for tiny MCE editor. If you are using a different editor, it may work a little differently. And you may want to look into that, into the specific editor, whether that be JCE or the code mirror, the default, uh, you know, the second editor that we have here. Uh, yeah, code mirror. So really that's it, you know, you go to plugins and in editor, you either turn off the editor using global configuration 
or you go to plugins and tiny mc and then there you either remove the iframe and script tag because that's what you're using based on if you're adding javascript code too or you hand back the controls uh, to joomla and then joomla can start taking care of it and then just make sure for super users to have no filtering which means nothing will be filtered whatever html you want to put in you can and that's it that's how you get iframes working in joomla modules content or anywhere else thanks for watching